He does go after him there. And delivers a fastball. A shot to the upper deck. Caught by that fan right there. Nice grab. <laughs> oh, wow. Whoa, huh? There it goes. <laughs> Throw her back. Throw her back. Oh, it's never too early for little girls to start disappointing their fathers. <laughs> by throwing that ball back, she said no to baseball. And it's about time, too. Because let's be honest, baseball is so boring. Does it really take 162 games to figure out that the Yankees bought the best team? <laughs> if you spend millions more than everyone else on something, it's just going to be better. That's why my show will never be as good as The Mentalist. <laughs> Slightly off topic, what the happened to Sammy Sosa? <laughs> Is he white now? <laughs> Who doesn't want to take their kid to the ball game until you realize that watching a game from the stands is just like watching it on TV, except that you're sitting really far away, it's super hot, and nothing is in HD. <laughs> Luckily, games are only four hours long with about eight minutes of actual playing time. And God help you if you witness a no-hitter. That's nine miserable innings of watching two guys play catch. <laughs> Even the players are bored. The only thing they have to look forward to is getting their turn with Alyssa Milano. Oh. I know, and not the hot 17-year-old version, that depressing mid-30s Alyssa Milano. Oh. It's disgusting. <laughs> it's just sad. No wonder you're in a slump. <laughs> the only thing the fans have to look forward to is catching a foul ball. It's the one free thing at the stadium, besides diarrhea. <laughs> That's why I shoved a fistful of sunflower seeds in my mouth, called this father-daughter team up to the big show for this week's Web Redemption. Play ball! Hi, Emily. Steven. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you for coming. Uh, we brought you here because it's the best of both worlds. Baseball for you and a tea party for your daughter. Because I assume baseball bores you like it does me. Tell me about the day at the baseball. Was that your first baseball game with your daughter? No, she's been to a few games before. Uh, is that the first fly ball you've ever caught? Yes, first one ever. Boy, he just missed that ball as he fouls that ball. Oh, nice grab, That's a really good grab. How upset were you? There was an, an a, a unanimous second. But you were aware that there were cameras on you? No. <laughs> so you're like, Let's just fake this for one second? No? No, not at all. When you threw the baseball back on the field, did your dad scream at you in the ride home? No? He was nice the whole time? Do you like tea parties? Do you like uh, tea parties better or baseball better? Tea parties better. Tea parties better? Yeah. You wouldn't throw this away. No. Uh, were you surprised at how much uh, instant feedback you got from that? Incredibly surprised. My wife and I were, we joked that we might make the, the late local news or something. And uh, we did, and I was pumped, and you know, woke up the next morning, and it was a completely different story. Would you rather have your daughter's college paid for in full for four straight years, or the Phillies win four straight World Series? I'm going to say college. College on that one. Really? That is very selfish to your city. <laughs> Emily, would you take steroids if it made you better at tea parties? No. You are the quietest woman I've ever gone to dinner with. That is a fact. We need to work on what you keep and what you throw away, OK? You ready? A lollipop. Keep it. A wad of cash. Keep it. A John Mayer CD. You want to catch the bouquet? Oh, you caught it! Keep it. A hand grenade. <laughs> Mardi Gras beads. <laughs> no, throw them away. At least till you're 18. Boy, the tea party was for Emily, and for you, we wanted to give you something that we know you've always wanted. Uh, so we adopted you a son. Oscar? <laughs> OK, coach. Uh, this is your new father. <laughs> OK, coach. <laughs> Hold on a second. Well, it's a good question. According to his paperwork from Puerto Rico, we think he's 14. It was written in crayon, uh, but he does have an 86 mile an hour fastball, so get out there with your boy. Okay, coach. <laughs> Hot! Hot! <laughs> oh! Oh! I am all thumbs. <laughs> this is the best day of my life. Okay, Emily, Dad, the world wants to know are you ready to give another shot? Enjoy the game. Beautiful day for a baseball game. 
Wish more people had turned out to see it. That's LA for you. It's the bottom of the ninth, and here comes Daniel Tosh. If you practice swings, this buttercup is sure to serve up a can of corn. Bo Sox Clay Buckles can't like this. He struck out 12 and is one out away from his second no-hitter. Steps to the plate, and holy Toledo, he is calling his shot. Looks in to get the sign. A high, hard one that pushes Tosh off the plate. Little chin music for you. It'll be interesting to see how the young Tosh responds here. Of course they caught the ball. Do you know how much money we had to pay to make sure nobody else was at that game? 